Hi Tina, this is Austin from Mercedes-Benz of Manchester. I wanted to shoot a quick video with you just to give you a closer look at the Tahoe that you left me a message on the other day. As you can see, it's a beautiful black color. Underneath the hood, we have a 5.3 liter V8 engine. As you can see, we have the LED headlights here. Moving around to the side, we'll take a look at the five spoke rims. This vehicle's in very good shape. We have the running boards down below. We have a rail up top. If you want to attach a roof rack. Moving around to the back, we'll take a look at the rear end. You can see you do have a tow hitch in the back there. Underneath this lip, we do have a backup camera as well. Pop open the trunk here, give you an idea of the space that you have in the back. You can see that we do have included some all weather floor mats here. There is a third row, it's currently folded down right now. Uh, cargo net comes with it. Pop open this. As you can see you have a little bit of extra storage. Can close the hatch simply by pressing that button there. Moving around to the passenger side, I'll open up the rear door to show you the gray interior that we have. Now, using this little handle here, you can very easily fold forward the second row seat to give you access to the third row. Now, folding up the third row is simple as just manual pulling it right up. And in the third row, you have a few cup holders as well as a 12 volt outlet for charging any phones or other electrical devices. Now looking in the center, this vehicle also has climate control for the rear seat. Rear seat passengers can control that simply right from the rear end of the center console there. There's also a little pocket for any cargo or any items that need storage. Holding down the center seat here, you can see you actually have two cup holders and also plenty of storage right here in the door panel as well. Moving inside the vehicle, I'll show you a, a quick look around here at all the features that you have. Starting here with the center console, I'll open that up to show you the massive space that you have inside there. On this side, you have a 12 volt outlet. And on this side, you have a auxiliary port, two USB ports, and a SD card port right here. Close that to show you the two cup holders you have in the center here. In front of that, you have another little storage compartment. You can open this up for another 12 volt outlet, and this up for another two USB ports. Keep it moving on here. We have heated seats for the front two seats and you have an option of choosing either the, bat, the back and bottom being heated or just the back of the seat being heated as well as three different intensity modes there. You have your rear climate control here. You can control the rear climate right from the center using these switches. Now this here is for the front seat. So there are three zones in total for the climate control. One, one for the driver, one for the front passenger, and one zone in the rear for the second and third row. Moving up, we have our controls for the infotainment system. You can even press this little button right here to raise the screen which uncovers another really large storage compartment in there, as well as another USB port. Now moving over to the steering wheel, there's a, there's a couple controls on the steering wheel. On the right side, you're gonna have this directional pad here. 
that's going to allow you to change the settings in the center gauge cluster screen directly in front of me here. You can access your navigation, phone, audio, different settings and information all from that screen there. On the left side, you have your brake assist here, or what Chevy calls the collision alert. You can adjust the sensitivity of that. As you can see, it'll show you right in that center gauge cluster screen. Now looking to my left on the left side of the steering column here, you have a couple switches that do various things. This one here, that's gonna turn on and off your parking sensors. This button here is going to turn on and off your lane assist. So that's going to warn you via either a beeping noise or a vibration in your seat when you're coming close to either of the lanes in the road that you're on. This here is your traction control off button. You can press that to, of course, turn your traction control off. And then you have another switch right here that's going to adjust your pedals so you can move the pedals forward and back using this switch. Down below that, you have your trailer settings. This uh, vehicle does have the towing package, so you can adjust all of your trailer braking and, and other options right from this switch here. You have your drivetrain settings here, so you can go from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, as well as high, as high and low. And here you have your headlight settings. You can switch from auto to manually on and so forth. Looking up here you can see we have three buttons for your garage door openers. Behind that we have a button here that allows you to open the tailgate. Now you can open that three quarters of the way open or fully open. Thank you so much again Tina. Again my name is Austin. If you have any other questions you can respond to the text that I sent you earlier or you can call me on my office phone, which is 603-669-6788. My extension is 220-211. Thanks a lot.